Hi, Lucas Marquardt here from the Thoroughbred Daily News, continuing on our series of freshman sires of 2018 with their first yearlings. Today, we're at Coolmore's Ashford Stud in Versailles, Kentucky, talking to Adrian Wallace about the big gun of the crop, the Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh. There's always a certain amount of trepidation when you come to any any sales market, whether it be the, the your first foals out of a by a certain stallion or the first yearlings when certainly which is what we're looking for for now with American Pharaoh. But given what he achieved himself, given his look, given the amount the, the quality and the and the amount of mares he covered, I think we were always reasonably confident that they were going to be uh, highly sought after in the marketplace. Uh, the buzz is good. I mean, we've been touring the farms. We've seen a lot of them. We've been touring. We've been we've seen a lot of them from from foal days to now as their yearlings and starting their prep. We've got a lot of them here ourselves. So, you know, we're in constant contact with the breeders uh, who bred to him. Uh, he's a good he's a good sized horse himself. He's 16-2. He's very correct, very good mover. He's a, as good a moving and dirt horse as you're gonna find. And he's passing that on. Uh, they're generally very good size. They've got plenty of scope and strength to them. They're generally very correct, uh, good movers. Uh, fairly uncomplicated horses, you know, they're, as Tom Van Meter said after Pharaoh won the, uh, the Triple Crown, if you want a big brown horse that can run fast, you, you look to American Pharaoh, and I think that's what we're seeing in his first crop. We bred 35 mares to him in his first crop, including Maybe, who's the dam of our own Saxon warrior who, who won the 2000 guineas in Europe this year. He then bred the likes of the dam of, of Songbird, Ivan of Inilot. He bred the dam of Acapulco, who was a champion sprinter. Bred the dam of Caravaggio, a champion two-year-old. So he got a whole cross-section of mares, dirt, turf, mares who were classic producers and also, uh, you know, top two-year-old producers, he, he covered a whole cross-section of, uh, of mares. And I think, you know, the fact as well that both of these Triple Crown winners in Justify and American Pharaoh both are graduates of the public auction sphere. We know that American Pharaoh was a, a high-priced RNA, but both of them were available to the public to be bought. And I think that gives, that should give buyers and agents an awful lot of confidence that, yeah, these horses are being sold by their breeders, these horses are available for everybody. They're not being kept by the likes of a Claiborne Farm or a Darley Godolphin or a Coolmore. You know, these horses are, are available for everyone to, to have a swing at. So I think that is uh, something that should, should put a lot of confidence in buyers' minds.